Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm really excited because I want to show you how I'm going to create a Synology ingest server where it automatically takes the data off an external USB drive once the drive is mounted and then take the Synology is going to take that same data and then upload it to a cloud service. And this all happens automatically and I'm going to show you that later on in the video. The perfect use case for this would be like say you have an AV or a digital marketing company and you have editors and proofers all around the world remotely. You need to get that footage to them to share so you can set that up using this process. Let's get started. Okay, I'm signed into my Synology DS920 Plus and the first thing you need to do is get the following three applications installed. You're going to want to install USB copy. Cloud Sync, and I also recommend installing XFAT Access. This way, you don't have any issues mounting your external drive, and it's readable then on PCs and Macs. Now, you can see mine are already installed. Some of them are running. All you need to do if they're not installed on your Synology is come up to the search bar here, type in Cloud Sync, hit the install button, follow the easy install wizard, and then do the same for USB copy and XFAT as well. Okay, so now that we have the three applications installed, let's get started by coming up to the main menu. We're going to start with USB copy because that's the first part of this two-part task. So we're going to launch USB copy. Now, please note, you need to have your external USB drive plugged into the Synology in order to be able to select one of these three formats. We're going to go with data import since we're going to be ingesting from the external drive to the Synology. Let's give it a name. We're going to call this ingestion test. We're going to select the source folder. And this is why you need to have the drive plugged in prior to creating the task, because we need to select it as the source folder. I'm going to choose the appropriate one here for me. And now we're going to select the destination folder. And I'm going to do that in the homes folder under Tony Smeraldi. I'm going to create a subfolder called ingestion and say OK. And now that I have that created in my home folder, I'm going to say select. And under copy mode, we have three versions, multi-version, mirroring, and incremental. You could read about mirroring and multi-version, but for this task, we're going to use incremental. And it says each time the copy task runs, newly added and modified files in the source folder will be copied to the destination. I'm going to leave remove original file structure for now. I'm going to leave that unchecked, but I am going to say for the purposes of fully automating this task to delete the source files after copy completes. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, you can leave this unchecked. File name conflict policy. We'll leave it set to rename and say next. And now here, this is where we're going to get the task to trigger automatically when the USB drive is plugged in simply by putting a check mark here where it says copy data whenever the USB SD storage device is plugged in. And again, to fully automate this task, once the copy process is done, we're going to leave this checked where it says eject the USB SD storage device when the copy completes. Now, the reason why I'm saying leave these both checked is because if you just simply want a user to be able to take the drive from the computer, plug it into the Synology, let the task begin automatically, it will. And then to safely remove that from the Synology, if you check the second one where it says eject the USB drive when the task completes, then we know the user can just walk up to the Synology and unplug the drive without damaging the disk. Let's go back to the Synology now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to say next. As far as the file types, I'm going to just leave them all selected and say done. So now we've completed the creation of the task, but you see it's unexecuted. I'm going to leave it set to unexecuted for now because what we're going to do next is go into Cloud Sync and create the upload from the Synology to a cloud service. So stay tuned. Okay, let's continue. Let's come up to the main menu. This time we're going to launch Cloud Sync to create the second part of the task, which is taking that ingested footage that's on the Synology and uploading it to a cloud service provider of your choice. For this example, I'm going to use Google Drive, but you could use any one of these other cloud services. Now, just a note for those of you, Dropbox TeamSpace is really Dropbox for business, so don't let that confuse you. Let's go on to say next. 
and I'm going to select the Google account that I want to sync to. And here we're just allowing Synology to sign in and access the Google account. So you have to say continue and allow and agree. And once you've done that, then we can go ahead and continue with the task. So we're going to call this upload from Synology. The local path is going to be that ingestion folder that we created in the last step. It's in the home folder and there it is. And the remote path is where we want to upload the files to on the Google Drive or on the cloud service. So we're going to click on this and then I'm going to say upload from Synology, which I've already created that folder, but you can create the custom folder here. So we're going to say upload from Synology and say select. And now as far as the sync direction, that's up to you depending upon your needs. It could be bi-directional, it could be download, remote changes only. But for the purpose of this video and the demonstration purposes, we're going to go with upload local changes only. And then we have a couple of options. We can encrypt the data if you'd like, but we're going to leave that off for now. Don't remove files in the destination folder when they are removed in the source folder. So for now, I'm going to leave that unchecked as well and say next and say done. And it says we've successfully completed this setup. And there you can see the process is completed. All right, so now that we have both tasks created, part one, ingesting from an external drive automatically upon mounting to the Synology, and then the Synology taking those files and uploading them to the cloud service, this should all happen automatically. So what you're looking at here, by the way, I call this the moment of truth to see if it's actually going to work or not. So what you're looking at here is first we have the USB copy task, and then we have behind that, the cloud sync task. And then also on this page here, I have the Google Drive, which that upload from Synology folder that we created, you could see now that it's empty. And again, that's because we have not mounted the drive yet to ingest to the Synology. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this drive here that I have four files, a movie file, an MP4 file, and the three, images, we're going to eject this now from the computer and then go plug it into the Synology. That's all I need to do is plug it into the Synology. And then you should see on the screen all things happening here. Let me get that plugged into the Synology DS920. Okay, we are copying, we are syncing. And then if I come up to the Synology folder, we should start to see files appear here. And there we go. Okay, so technically now, if I go back and get the USB drive out of the Synology, which it should be safe for me to just pull it out because of that option that I had checked earlier. I should be able to put it back into the computer and we should see that there are no files on it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the drive to mount and I'll show it to you. There we go. Let me switch over to the computer. Let me bring it up on the other screen so you can see it. And you can see now that the four files, the MP4 file and the three images are gone. So there you go, a simple way using a combination of USB copy to ingest the data automatically with those several preferences set and then cloud sync to send that same data up to the cloud service to use with your team, with your remote team. Now that said, what service you use is up to you how you structure your file structure on the cloud service as far as groups and permissions and users, that's all up to you. But basically the purpose of this video was just to show you the actual workflow of how to get this accomplished. Hope you liked the video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.